What's up, y'all? I figured I'd show you a video. I've been busy doing modifying this Pump Master 760. Stocks broke off and the barrels cut off. But I modified it, and you know what that is it's an air hose. So I modified it to where you can hook up an air hose to it. So I'll give you a quick. I don't know if you're able to see it, but I mean, it does. It works pretty good. I'm running at 90 psi. It's they're going a pretty good distance. I don't know if you can, I can't really see it, if I can find it in camera. You barely can see it, but there's a jug up in the tree right there, that little white dot. Let's see if I can't hit that. I don't have iron sights or anything on here, so I'm kind of right under it. I kind of have an aim for it. going right under it. There we go. I don't know if y'all heard that. There's another one. Hit the tree next to it. What I'm going to try to do next is uh, figure out some kind of portable air tank to carry with me because I got it hooked up to an 8 gallon compressor so that's not very portable but <laughs> I need to be carrying an 80 gallon around with me. But yeah, let's get a closer look of it. Now there's the full gun. Like I said, the stock had broke off a long time ago, and then the barrel got bent, so I cut it off. Yeah, right in there, I'd cut out a slot, took all the uh, like pump part out of the handle. I don't know what you'd call it, but I took all that out, and then uh, I just electrical taped this back on there since the pump part isn't in there to connect to that little thing right there. But yeah, I took all that out and stuff and uh, basically gutted the whole inside of this thing and then I, there's like a little brass piece in there that holds the air. I took the front part, it screws in two pieces, I took the front part of it off and then on the back piece, this, uh, uh when you cock this back, the little, it's like the little hammer or something, I guess you could call it the firing pin in here, sort of, but it comes back and then you close that you pull the trigger and then it comes forward hits the back of that brass part which pushes this little pin in that releases the air and it goes up into the barrel right there but uh i just kept that back piece of that brass and then on the front of it i screwed one of these into it the one fourth it's a one fourth inch air hose adapter and uh I screwed that in. It's not the same thread, but it, it goes in enough to where it doesn't leak air. And I put some Teflon tape around it. And then uh, I didn't bother putting a hose clamp on the other end because it wouldn't fit inside this. But it seems to be holding pretty fine. So, uh, yeah, and then this is just a piece of old pressure washer hose. But yeah, it's pretty simple. I mean, I was able to do it like overnight, basically. I had to wait until this morning to finish it because 
it was like 10 o'clock when I started on it last night and the neighbors will get mad if they hear air compressors and crap so that's pretty much I, I might take it apart and show a tutorial maybe if I get enough people asking then I, I'll do it but it's written safety and stuff still works so I mean pretty much all the trigger parts still the same yeah, it's pretty much all it is to it. See you guys.